time you have a problem in the discriminant mode is if your ground balance is too negative. If your ground balance is too negative, then you're going to have faulting because let's say you're, and here's where. Let's say you're hunting in the G in your ground balance and discriminant mode, motion discriminant mode, and you get a signal right here. You get a signal over that spot. You want to pinpoint that target so you can recover it. So you go into your pinpoint mode. What is the pinpoint mode? It is an all metal mode, which is in essence it's your ground balance mode. So, if your ground balance is spot on, you're not going to be bothered by the ground. You've ignored it. So, let's say you cut a plug about three inches deep, and you take that dirt out, put it over here, and you sweep over the hole to see where that, how, if, if you're close to that target. You must be getting close because it gets louder. You have a stronger beep. Hmm. So you're going to cut, make a little bit bigger hole. And you go over it, and you have a stronger beep. You think, I've got to be getting closer. I'm just not there yet. Right? So you dig a little bit more. And what do you get? Stronger beep. Well, what this X was, was a little tiny piece of foil that was close to the surface. And when you turn your dirt pile over here, it's just a little tiny piece of foil under all this dirt. And you're hearing a bigger noise. Why are you hearing a bigger noise? Because you may have a detector that has a two negative ground balance in the all metal mode. The preset ground balance for the discriminant mode might function. You might be able to hunt in discrimination and not have any fault saying in good ground. But when you go into your pinpoint mode, if your ground balance is negative, if you have a negative ground balance and your coil is here, and then you lower the coil to the ground, and if it goes silent as you go to the ground, that's a negative ground balance, right? Negative. It goes silent, which means if you put the coil on the ground and, and set your threshold, then you raise it up, it's going to beep. Negative ground balance will beep when you lift the coil away from the ground. It's going to beep. Or if you take the ground away from the coil. So people with the two negative ground balance, and I've seen this happen too many times over 20, 30 years. I am seeing people chase targets that aren't there. It's not there. Because their ground balance is too negative. And if they have a factory preset detector, they have no control. If you're hunting in Texas, you, you don't hardly ever get that. You just don't see that happen much. Because Texas dirt's about as mellow as that tear up that paper sack back there. All the mineralization in that sack is about like Texas. Most of Texas that I've hunted. Just Great. I'd, I'd trade them ground right now for this crummy mineralized dirt we have around here. <laughs> here we have ground balance issues. That's why ground balance is very important. That's why I'm going to put a plug in for whites. That's why whites have been such a, a leader in many of the products they've made through the years, because they make them here in Oregon. And so this is the first place they're going to test their machines okay. <coughs> in bad ground. So, so uh, did that kind of answer it about he went up there, so I must answer it. And that's what ground balance does. Ground balance is just used to ignore the ground, but you want to just ignore the ground. You don't want to be too negative, especially. You also don't want to be too positive. If your ground balance is too positive, you're going to have a problem. 